Hello and welcome back to part two of this video series. So what's new in Revit 2018? My name's Dan and I'm a BIM consultant at Symmetry. In this video we're going to take a look at some of the new cloud collaboration tools and workflows using C4R or Collaboration for Revit. Revit 2018 is now installed with the Cloud Collaborations for Revit module. Even if your project is not using the Cloud Collaboration service, you can still take advantage of the integrated publish setting when publishing models and drawings to other stakeholders through the C4R service, you can create a predefined sheet set which could also include model views. I'm now going to create a sheet set using the publish settings. I'm going to create a new set. Filter the sheets and views to just show sheets. I'm going to select them all and then unselect the ones I don't need. I can then save and close, or I could preview so we can see actually which sheets we're dealing with. I can then save and close. Now, if you weren't collaborating on collaboration for Revit, you can also use this for print setup. So now if I'm using print and I go to the select views and sheets, you notice that set five is already available. To publish the sheet set to BIM 360, we go to the Manage Cloud Models button. Here I can see the projects that I have up on my uh, BIM Hub. This is the project that I want to publish to the BIM 360 server. And by clicking here on Publish Latest, I'm sending a version of the model and the pre-configured sheet set. It must be understood that this is not the same as synchronizing with the central file. Now to view our published sheet set, we must go over to the BIM Hub. Here we can access the model that we just published. We can share it. We can download the entire model and we can also delete or move. But by clicking on the model, we can go into our sheets and access the drawings that we've created. If we require more sheets to be present in our published model on our BIM uh, 360 server, we go back to the Revit model, back into the published settings, add views that we require. In this case, I'm going to take a couple of camera views and a 3D model. We save the set. We synchronize. Notice that this, the root is BIM360. This synchronize will not push the changes up to the BIM360 server it will just make the changes available for other users. To make the sheets and views and the model from the published settings appear on the BIM 360 server, um, I would have to go into Manage Model again, into my project, publish the latest This has now published the latest changes which I made to my settings. 
So back into the BIM 360 hub, if I refresh my browser now, I should see um, here version 5 come up. After a few seconds wait, the browser is refreshed and we can now see both sheets and 3D views are present. This is what we could see before. Now we have added some views. This should be a camera view. This is now navigatable. This one is my generic model view. And here we can see all the materials are carried over onto the BIM360 server and they're looking very nice. Thanks for sharing your precious time with me and I hope to see you again in part three.